problems within the recommender systems uh, that we can face. Uh, as you all know, there are enormous amount of reviews and various goods and services that are published on the web every day. Uh, and they do provide valuable information for consumers. Uh, and they are used, of course, by the recommender systems. I'm sure that lots of you, or maybe almost all of you, <coughs> use some kind of recommender system when going, uh, planning trip hill to go away, either to, use, uh, to, 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 to choose the hotel you're staying in, or maybe to choose the restaurant that you want to eat something in the evening. Uh, but since the consumer usually prefer to use free text comments to express their opinions, uh, in addition to star ratings or some simple uh, star ratings, uh, the selection, retrieval, and utilization is not always accurate enough as we would uh, like it to be. Uh, the obvious question that all of you should ask, why not to take the advantage of the semantic annotations and semantic web technologies? Of course, there are some recommender uh, systems that uh, try to do so or do so. Uh, but uh, there is quite low interest of users to contribute to such systems uh, since there is rather high barrier of entry. Uh, the usual internet user don't know what is semantic web, doesn't understand what are semantic annotations. Uh, there is lack of incentives uh, for him to create ones. Uh, and there is lack of clear benefits. Why uh, should he waste this additional few minutes in creating his review, in choosing some content from DBpedia or uh, other systems? Uh, that's why uh, there is a problem with uh, the semantic content that those systems could work on. Uh, this, is on, this is not only true for recommender systems, this is true for the rest of the web uh, also. Uh, that's why the incentives uh, project was, uh, uh, was, 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 was created, was uh, held. Uh, the mission was to bridge the gap between the human and computational intelligence in semantic content authoring for a worldwide update of semantic technology. Uh, and our contribution for the project, our university's contribution, was uh, the creation of Tasted Try It mobile application, uh, which was to enable users to contribute to semantic content creation by using multiple motivational dimensions that I will talk about in a few minutes. And uh, on the other hand, we wanted to provide users with personalized, semantic, context-aware recommendation process that I will also uh, say something about in a few minutes. Uh, just to give you the overview uh, of our tool, of those, there's the server application, which is doing all the hard work, which is connecting to DBpedia in order to uh, make disambiguation of the terms used uh, by users. We have uh, two additional client application. The first one is the mobile Android application, uh, which is the main channel uh, of uh, user contribution, when the user is in the restaurant, in the pub, or whenever, wherever else, uh, he may take this one, two, three minutes uh, for expressing his opinions about the, the place he's in, and uh, the Android applications made for this purpose. And on the other hand, we have a Facebook uh, application, which is this social channel, uh, which we want, through which we want to uh, incentives the users uh, to, 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 to use our uh, application. Uh, on, the, on the right side, we have also the uh, incentives platform, which is uh, part of the leaked open data cloud, uh, and uh, where all of RDF triples, which are somewhere uh, in the background created, uh, are, of course, transferred and published. Uh, the three dimensions of, uh, dimensions of incentives I talked about are usability, uh, is the social aspect. Uh, we, of course, want to keep a user entertained or uh, maybe even addicted to our application. And there are some uh, additional benefits. Uh, so this is the personalized, semantic, context-aware recommendation process. Uh, in this way, we want to show uh, the user uh, how our application is somehow better than the other ones that he or she is using now. 
benefiting from the uh, semantic web te technologies and all the possibilities that you're, uh, you're aware of. So uh, speaking of the first uh, dimension, this is usability. Of course, there are these uh, simple things like intuitive interfaces, uh, known interfaces, so the user really knows what is going on. Uh, the application is not surprising him in, in a way that he doesn't know what to do with it. And uh, something which is also quite important for a normal user, uh, we wanted to make the whole semantic annotation creation process invisible for the user. So the user doesn't really know that he's creating semantic annotations. Uh, of course, we are uh, integrating with uh, DBpedia in our case. We are using DBpedia concepts as for, for example, type of restaurant, uh, food served, etc., etc. Uh, we are allowing... Uh, it is possible also to... to uh, text comments to be disambiguated using uh, also WordNet or DBpedia and algorithms also developed within our project, for example, bootstrapping algorithm. But the whole process is somewhere, is done somewhere in the background, so the user is unaware of it. Uh, so uh, he doesn't really need to understand what he's doing. Uh, the sociability uh, dimension. Uh, like I said, we have integrated with Facebook. Uh, we just chose this portal to integrate with, and we are using uh, lots of funny badges, funny uh, names, funny awards. Uh, we use uh, different kinds of rankings, so you can see, for example, all of your friends using the application, uh, how much points you need to get to, to be better in some way than your friend, or or, or what should you do to get this funny little badge uh, and uh, make it visible on your Facebook wall. Uh, and, like I said, some additional functionalities like uh, personalization of search results, recommendations. Uh, we're using the clustering approach, uh, known from the collaborative filtering area. Uh, basically, two types of it. Uh, we're using the, uh, the one based on the submitted reviews and the other based on this uh, web 2WO layer. So we use all the information we can get from Facebook and social uh, connection of a user. Uh, this is just a visualization of our search process. You, of course, uh, can do it in the traditional way. Uh, set your location or, or it can be read from your mobile device. Uh, how, how far are you willing to go to a restaurant of your choice? Uh, there are some questions about what would you like to eat. Of course, those fields uh, on the left bottom side are a uh, concept from DBpedia, so we are using uh, all the hierarchies there. Uh, on the right side, you can uh, see uh, all of those traditional features that users are really used to. Uh, and uh, one interesting thing, uh, on the right upper side, uh, you can choose with which of your friends uh, you would like to go to it with. So not only your profile, but also the profile of your friends can be taken into account. Uh, the question is, are the uh, incentives, so the incentives for semantics enough? Uh, we hope so, we try to find out. Uh, we have conducted an experiment uh, just to, to give you some basic information. There were 140 users divided into five different groups. Each group had, uh, had the possibility to see different things in the system. So uh, the incentives that we were uh, implementing were only visible in certain groups so that we could compare the the performance of different users. Uh, almost 2,300 reviews were made on uh, more than 900 unique locations. Uh, and uh, as an effect, we had almost uh, 15,000 RDF triples created. And some of our observation was that uh, various incentives applied really increased the involvement, involvement of the user and uh, the quality of the contribution. Uh, the users that, uh, that, that have seen, uh, seen more incentives in our application made uh, better quality reviews. They really uh, tried to connect uh, the dishes, for example, to DBpedia concept, etc., etc. 
uh, and uh, they were really motivated uh, with, for example, information, how much points they need to get to be better from the closest friend that is ahead of them. So this is really uh, understandable uh, and uh, it probably motivates all of us. Uh, and this is basically it. I'm over the time now. So we have, I think, a few more minutes. If you have any comments, questions, please.